Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to cover how to retarget your uh, animations for different characters in, uh, in Unreal from Character Creator 3 and also for the, uh, the embedded uh, Unreal Mannequin character as well. Alright, so the first thing we want to do here is export the character that we have here in Character Creator 3, which is this uh, cool looking guy with his uh, armor. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. We're not going to spend too much time in Character Creator 3, we're going to focus on uh, getting all the settings correct in Unreal. So let's go to File and Export here. We're going to export it to an FBX file and choose the Target Tool preset. We're going to choose Unreal, of course. Okay. We do not want to embed the textures. We do want to include motions at 30 frames per second. Okay. And a couple of uh, custom motions here. I'm just going to find those in the folder here. Let's just, uh, we have, first of all, of course, our uh, uh, A pose for Unreal with a zero and an underscore in front of it. Okay. And we talk about uh, where to find that file in our other uh, Unreal uh, tutorial, importing Unreal characters, or character creator characters into Unreal there. And let's go ahead and open up the other one as well, this cool pose, just a simple idle pose. And as always, make sure that the uh, open uh, A pose there is first on the list. Go to Delete Head and Mesh and select Export. Okay, and it'll just uh, go ahead and press OK. Now I've already done this uh, for you guys, uh, so we don't have to wait. So we can go to my desktop here, and I have this Neat Dude folder, okay? So I exported him as Neat Dude. And that's really all we're going to do in Character Creator 3. So we're just going to go ahead and close Character Creator down now and go back into uh, Unreal Engine here. And the next item of business here is we want to import in that uh, Neat uh, neat Dude uh, little uh, FBX that I just showed you there. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new, uh, new uh, folder here. Uh, add new and new folder. I'm just going to call it Neat Dude. Okay, that's his name. And we'll go into that folder there. And what we can do here is just go to our desktop and uh, go to our Neat Dude folder and just click and drag all these folders here, the Neat Dude, the Textures folder, and the Neat Dude.fbm folder there as well. Okay, so let's click and drag that into our uh, Unreal project, into that Neat Dude folder. Okay, so when you're importing in your character, it's important to get all the settings right here. So we want to make sure that we have Skeletal Mesh and Import Mesh selected here. Uh, we need to make sure that we have uh, Time Zero as Reference Pose selected. We also want to make sure that uh, down here we have import morph targets, okay, and import animations as well. Uh, select it, we're going to import animated time, okay, so that's the uh, idle, idle motion that I showed you earlier uh, that we added into our uh, animation list there. And we also want to go down and just go ahead and import all of it. All right, and once everything is imported in properly, we can go ahead and just close down this uh, message log here and uh, twirl up our neat dude uh, materials there. And in the Neat Dude folder, we're going to find our skeletal mesh here. But before we do that, we want to make sure that we set it up properly using the uh, CC Auto Set uh, Setup plugin here. Okay, and if you want to learn how to install this plugin, you can check out our tutorial on uh, importing the Character Creator 3 characters into Unreal here. Uh, so, of course, the first thing we want to do is just go ahead and save all our materials. Uh, save selected. And then once all the materials are saved, again, just make sure that you have your uh, Neat Dude skeletal mesh selected and go to CC Auto Setup. And that's going to automatically set up all the materials. And again, we cover this in our basic tutorial on importing our Character Creator 3 characters into Unreal Engine using this plugin. Okay, so once he's finished importing and all the materials are finished compiling, you can just go ahead and double click to open up the skeletal mesh here and take a look, see at your character. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty decent looking. Okay, all the materials are uh, on there correctly. So what we want to do here is we want to take, take a look at the skeleton and essentially want to uh, retarget the animations from the mannequin character to our uh, neat dude character. Okay, so let's go over here to the skeleton, and we have a retarget manager tab over here. And what we want to do is, let's go to our skeleton tree first, and I'm just going to go over to options and show retargeting options here. And you can see for the root and the pelvis, we have both animation scaled uh, selected here. Okay, and all the other uh, bone uh, nodes here are all skeleton. Okay. So what we want to do here is we want to create a retargeting source, okay? And we're going to do that by going here to select uh, Add New, okay? And we're going to select our Neat Dude Skeletal Mesh. We'll just uh, keep the name the same at Neat Dude, okay? And just uh, go ahead and keep that. And we want to make sure that we select the rig. We want to make sure we select Humanoid Rig, okay? Very important here. And you can see all the uh, all the sources and the targets, okay? Have all been uh, set out here. And from this point on, all you got to do is just go ahead and save this. And then we can close down the new Neat Dude skeleton. And then what we want to do is we want to close down Neat Dude. And let's go find the uh, mannequin. Okay, so this is the third person uh, default project with Unreal. And I've added in the Anim Starter Pack, uh, resource pack that you can uh, get from the uh, marketplace for free. But let's just go ahead and find the mannequin now under character, under mesh. 
we'll find our SK mannequin right here. Okay. So let's go ahead and double click him and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go up to skeleton and retarget manager. I'm going to select add new and we're going to select the SK mannequin here. Keep that same name. And of course we need to select the rig, select humanoid rig. Okay. So same thing. And then we're just going to go ahead and save this and we can close it down. And what we've done here is we've created two sources for retargeting. And the, the, the first motion that I want to retarget is under mannequin animations. We have this third person idle. Okay. So if I double click this third person idle. You can see this is it right here. Okay. Just a very simple idle. The character is just, uh, you know, barely moving. Um, and you can do a, you can, you know, retarget all the other animations as well, but I'm just going to retarget this one. And the easiest way to do that is just to simply right click the actual animation sequence itself and then go to retarget anim assets and duplicate anim assets and retarget. Okay. And what we need to do is we need to select uh, for target here. We need to select our NPC or rather our neat dude. Okay. Uh, right here. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see he will appear over here. Make sure we have this remap referenced assets, convert spaces to new skeleton and show only compatible skeletons selected. And then just go ahead and select retarget. And once we do that, it's going to create a duplicate motion here, a duplicate animation sequence. And it's called third person idle. Just for the sake of clarity, I'm going to go ahead and rename this. Okay. So let's go ahead and rename it third person idle underscore uh, neat, neat dude. Okay. And then what we want to do to keep things organized is let's go into the neat dudes folder here. Uh, let's twirl up the textures. And let's create another uh, 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 subfolder here called animations. Okay, so create new folder. Uh, I'll just call it animations. Okay, so now there's a subfolder under neat dude animations. And let's go back to our main content where the uh, third person idle there is. And we can click and drag that into the animations folder and just select move here. Okay, and once, we're, once we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So we double click. There you can see we retargeted that uh, third person idle from the mannequin to our neat dude. Okay. And this is exactly what we want to do. Okay. So that's how easy it is basically to just retarget. You just got to set up your couple sources and uh, select the, uh, the rig that you want to retarget to, or the animation you want to retarget and assign it to that rig. Okay. Let's go ahead and close this down for now. Now that's how you retarget a single motion. What if you want to retarget like all the motions in a blueprint? Well, you can do that as well by going up to uh, mannequin and animations here again. And we have this third person anim BP. Okay. Third person anim blueprint. So what I'm going to do is right click on that. Okay. It's an animation blueprint, right click on that and retarget anim blueprints and same thing. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and select again, neat dude skeleton right here and retarget. Okay. And then you can see it'll create all those same motions for our, our uh, neat dude character. Okay, so the third person jump, we can double click on that. You can see them all listed here as well. Okay, we can let's go to the idle there, uh, the run. Okay, so this is the uh, mannequin run retargeted to our, uh, our character there. Just like this and third person walk. Okay, so again, very easy and uh, quick process to just retarget all those motions once you have your, uh, your source rigs uh, set up there. Okay, let's go ahead and close this down. And just, you know, to keep things organized, I'm going to click and uh, select all these things here, shift, select them all and um, move them over to the animations folder right here and move them all. Now, right now, of course, if I, if I go ahead and play the, uh, the project right now, what's going to happen is we're just going to have our basic uh, mannequin character. Okay. With his run and his walk and everything, his jump. Okay. You can press the space key to have him jump and everything. Probably pretty familiar with this. But what if we want to replace the character on the screen? We want to replace him with, uh, now that we've retargeted all those motions, we can replace him with our, uh, our neat dude. Okay. Let's press escape to get out of here. And the way we do that is we can go down to the bottom here and find our third person character. And we want to go ahead and edit the third person character blueprint. Okay. So once we do that, it's going to open up the uh, blueprint editor here. And you can see, uh, under components here, we just have our mesh right here. Okay. So we can go to the viewport and you can see this is our character mesh, of course, right here. All right, the one that we currently have in our scene. And what we want to do is we want to go over here to change our skeletal mesh. We want to change the mannequin. Okay. So let's just go ahead and select uh, from mannequin. We're going to choose neat dude. Okay. Neat dude right there. And then uh, he'll just kind of go into his uh, typical a pose here. And what you want to do is you want to change your animation mode to use animation blueprint. Okay. And go down to third person and blueprint. Okay. And underscore C. And you'll find the character like this. And that's really essentially it. That's how you replace the character in the screen uh, on your, in your project, rather. Let's go ahead and compile it and then save it. 
And then when we go back into our uh, projects, you'll see the character here. Okay, whoops, where'd we go there? Way over here. All right, let's zoom in on the character. There we go. And there he is. And what we can do here is just go ahead and play a uh, playback one more time. And now we have, we replaced that character with our uh, our neat dude, okay? He's like, oh, where am I going? Oh, right. Just uh, running around like a crazy person, right? You can have him jump as well and head up here and uh, oh, just jump down and, you know, dilly-dally back and forth. We'll just go ahead and press escape to uh, get out of that. And let's select our uh, third-person character and press the F key to kind of focus on him there. Well, there we go. Okay. So now what if we want to replace one of the motions in our in our character's uh, blueprint? Uh, say, for example, the idle. Okay? We can do that once this finishes saving here. We can go over here to Neat Dude Animations, and you can see we have the uh, third-person idle run uh, 2D blend space. Okay? All right, we don't want to modify the uh, blueprint uh, right now. We want to modify the uh, blend space 1D. Okay, so just double click that. And you can see um, we have the option here to click and drag or hold shift to move the preview uh, green pin, which is this thing here. Okay, so I can click and drag it. And as we take the speed down, our character will go into the idle. And as we move it up like this, it'll start to go into a full sprint. Okay, let's slow it down and start walking. And there we go. Okay, so if we want to replace, uh, you can see right here, if we mouse over this uh, first little uh, point here, it'll say third person idle. If we right click that, we have the option to change that animation from third person idle to something else. So let's go ahead and just uh, select thir third person idle. We're going to go ahead and select a different one. Uh, but before we do that, we need to import it in. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, close this down. And we're going to go over here to uh, the Anim Starter Pack, okay? So in, under uh, Anim Starter Pack, you'll find all these motions right here. Okay, what we can do is we can retarget the one that we want. So let's go ahead and find it. It is a uh, um, just the idol um, with our character just uh, standing there with a pistol. We'll put a pistol in his hand in just a moment here. There we go, idle pistol. Okay, so let's go ahead and right-click that. And again, same process, retarget Anim Asset and duplicate. And we need to add our, uh, our our mannequin from this pack in as well. So we need to go ahead and cancel that. And let's go up to uh, our U4 mannequin and uh, the mesh here and this SK mannequin here. Right click him, or rather double click him and go into the skeleton. Same process. We're going to add new and add this guy. And then we'll go ahead and uh, select the rig again one more time. Select humanoid rig and give her a save. Okay, it'll say it needs to be saved. So just go ahead and save it and close that down and close this down here as well and then we'll have that process uh, go back to uh, UE4 mannequin here and uh, whoops the anim starter pack rather and let's find that uh, idle pistol here there it is okay we can right click that retarget anim asset select it and now we have the option to uh, bring in our NPC skeleton okay so do that oops not this one neat dude skeleton rather okay and just go ahead and retarget and that's going to do the same thing okay we'll just go ahead and uh, rename it again, uh, put at the end, uh, underscore neat dude. Okay. And then throw that into the neat dude animations folders to keep things organized. And uh, just move it here. Okay. And in that same folder, again, we're going to just, uh, open up the, uh, the same idle run, uh, 2d right here. And then we can just, you know, uh, preview the same thing. Everything's uh, all the same as it was before. And now we can right click this and third person idle. Now we can find the idle pistol, okay? And just select that one, okay? And then we uh, preview. Now our character will go into like this uh, pose where he's kind of like, you know, aiming a pistol, all right? So let's just go ahead and give that a save and go back into our uh, main uh, project here and uh, give it a play. And you can see now our character's idle will be that uh, pistol move, okay? You can see he's kind of slowly just has an imaginary pistol in his hand there. Pretty cool stuff. All right, let's just press escape and get out of there. Okay, so if I want to put an actual gun in this poor guy's hands here, I need to go ahead and create a socket on his on his uh, hand, okay, for the gun to fit in there. And the way we do that is just go to our neat dude over here, again, the skeletal mesh. Uh, load up the skeletal mesh. Go to the skeleton here and into the skeleton tree. And we're going to try and find his uh, right hand here, okay, hand right, right there. And just right click and create, uh, select add socket, okay. We, we can just call it hand or socket, doesn't really matter. Uh, just go ahead and save that and get out of here, okay. And then with our, with our character uh, in the uh, scene here, let's go up to edit third person again here. Uh, third person controller, go to our viewport, and we need to go to our select our mesh here. And we need to add a component, okay. So add component, and we'll select a skeletal mesh, okay. 
So the skeletal mesh, we're not going to call it, uh, neat dude. Whoops. We don't want that, uh, skeletal mesh. We can just select it anyways and just change it from neat dude to, uh, our Beretta. Okay. Which is the gun. All right. And then the gun will appear right in the character's midsection right here. Okay. So it's like right inside his body. Okay. We're going to, uh, click and drag the neat dude up here over to the, uh, the mesh. Okay. Just like this. And uh, again, we can rename it to like Beretta. But, uh, okay, just keep things a, a little bit easier. And then just go ahead and search. And then right at the top, we can find our hand, our socket. Okay, so now it's attached to the uh, right hand socket. And you'll see it'll be uh, positioned uh, wherever it is here. I'm not sure. There we go. Oh, there it is up there. Okay, so it's uh, up in the sky for some reason. Let's just bring it back down to earth here and place it, you know, relatively nicely in our in our character's hands here. Let's just kind of zoom in here. There we go. Can I get to uh, shooting all over the place here? All right, let's just kind of get it organized right into our character's hands. There, we'll take off the uh, uh, snapping here, so we can get it a bit better, and put it in a nice, clean position, just like this. Okay, put the trigger finger right in front of the trigger there. And again, we're not going to be too specific about this. It doesn't really doesn't really matter. We just want to have him uh, make sure the gun's attached to his hand there. And you can adjust all this stuff later as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and give it a compile and save it. And we'll close this down. And now our character will have the gun in his hand. And we can play it. And if we uh, go to the front, you'll see he has that idle pose with the gun in his hand now. And it'll be attached to his uh, right hand socket. Okay, which is what we want. And he's like, boom, boom, boom. I'm just going to shoot his gun off and uh, whatever. All right, so go ahead and press escape here. And finally, the last thing we want to do is retarget an animation from our other NPC character that we imported in previously. Okay, so we have another folder here for an NPC character. You can see the skeletal mesh of the NPC right here. And he has a separate animation, just this uh, kind of talking animation right here where you can see that his uh, his mouth is moving just like that. And he's kind of crossing his arm and gesturing and stuff like this. So this is a totally separate character. This isn't our mannequin character. But we can again retarget this to our uh, our neat dude character as well. Simply by again right clicking it. Uh, retarget Adam Assets. Uh, duplicate right here. And select the neat dude skeleton. And go ahead and just retarget that. Now you may come across an issue when you import your character. And especially with the facial animations. You'll see when we uh, play it on a neat guy here or neat dude rather, you can see that his facial animation is not working. So we need to go into the mesh here and just go ahead and re-import uh, re in the mesh. And once we do that, uh, once we re-import the mesh, we can go back to our uh, skeleton once everything is saved here and uh, give that a quick preview. There we go to skeleton and I'll just go ahead and uh, play back. And now you can see once we do that, once we've re-imported the mesh, that our facial animation will now be working. Okay, it's closing his eyes and uh, giving us a lecture on... Uh, why we don't know how to use uh, Unreal properly, and uh, so on and so forth. All right, so I think that's about all I wanted to cover in this tutorial, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you learned a lot about uh, all, the, all the fun things you can do when it comes to retargeting your uh, animations for Character Creator 3 characters uh, in Unreal Engine. So as always, make sure you check out our forums over at forum.reillusion.com, and I hope to see you in the next video.